What's up my restored beauties? Welcome back to my channel. In life, everyone has a task to do or something that they need to do, or whether it's at work or at home. What is a task? A task is a piece of work that has to be done or a responsibility, assignment, a duty, something that you have been assigned to do. So what is your task in life? Task at work. And all of us have something that we are assigned or a task that we have to do during the day. Whatever we do in life, we're asked to do it with all of our heart. In this house, I have many tasks. A mother, wife, stay-at-home mom. Some of them are just like every other mom who is at home or, or working. Cooking, cleaning, being a bodyguard to our kids, being a mother, being a caregiver, uh, a nurse, a teacher, cleaning lady, a maid, picking up after everybody else. And when it's time to cook, I want to make sure that whatever I'm cooking, it's done well and with love. Sometimes it's hard because it depends on how I'm feeling, it's how my food will turn out to be. But usually when I put my whole heart in whatever I'm cooking, it comes out delicious. So what about you? Do you have a, a task? You know, do you have something assigned to you at work, at home that you're assigned to? It doesn't matter the age. Um, sometimes at work, your boss will ask you something and your attitude will be like, hey, you know, I'm not getting paid enough. So I'm going to do this task, whatever he asks me or she halfway, meaning I'm just going to try a little bit, but I am not putting, you know, everything into this task because I'm not getting paid for it and I've witnessed people like that I've actually witnessed teachers I used to work at this school I won't say the name or who the teachers but I I've heard it and I've seen the teachers and I've heard it with my own ears saying you know why should I clean that child's nose you know and these poor kids that were like having a runny nose and they were like one years old and two. What does a one year old and two year old know about cleaning their nose? Not really, you know? So yes, a teacher's there to teach and, and everything, but it doesn't hurt to pick up a tissue and clean that child's nose. And I've heard it with my own ears many times, the teacher's saying, well, I am not gonna do that because that is not what I'm getting paid for. So that's a bad, and that's a very bad attitude to have at work. And that type of an attitude will get you nowhere. So don't ask for promotions because you ain't getting any. We have to learn to follow before we learn to lead. Verse four promises us this. When we work as unto God, as if we're working for God and not for men, we, we will receive our inheritance, which is our reward. For we reap the fruit of our labor, whether good or bad. Because with God, there is no partiality, whether you're the boss or the worker. So do your job well, as if God is watching you, if you fear God, that is. And remember, He is watching and will reward you. So whatever task you are doing, do it with all your heart, you know, because if you are not if you are if you can't be trusted with a little task in life why should you be promoted you know if you you if you can't be if you if you don't do a tiny tiny job at work you know something a little task that, that your boss gives you at work why should he or she promote you to a greater task for a greater position you know why 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 should you, you know? Show yourself that you're worthy to be promoted. Show yourself that you are capable to handle a greater task than the one that what you have been assigned. What you have been assigned, you do it so well. Somebody will always pay attention so, and somebody will watch and you will be rewarded. Just have patience and put your heart into whatever you're doing, whatever task you have been assigned or given. Whether your boss is looking or not looking. Someone once said, we are what we do in secret, not what we do in public. So whatever task you have been given, whether it's at work, at home, 
um, whether it's you know you're a teenager and your task at home is to pick up the trash or mail or do the lawn whatever do it well with no whining with no complaining because you never know you know life will promote you god will promote you keep that in mind whether you're um, a cashier person whether you work at mcdonald's or you flip burgers or you wash dishes or you're a maid cleaning lady whatever do it with all your heart and you will be promoted to something greater than that but you can't but you can't just like wish it wish about it and uh, move your way up there you know try to push your way up there because if and always complain oh i got this job oh man i gotta do this oh it's too much you always complain about the customers you always complain about the job you're always complaining about your task uh, none of that is going to help you getting promoted or you moving up in life so if you have to forget about that you know and put your heart into whatever task you have been you have been given and you will be promoted you know when you least expect it um that's how life is you know no matter what you are doing what you have been given to do you know if you do it with all your heart you know you're not really going to pay attention or think about oh when am i going to get better or when i'm going to get promoted it, it's just going to happen naturally you know and that's actually that's the beauty of it you know and that's something that um it's more rewarding and more enjoyable you know what's my point my point is put your heart into whatever task you have been given whatever task you have during the day you know whether at work or at home or at school you know no matter where you are everybody has a task so put your heart into it and your uh, your effort watch god promote you reward you if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and join the restored beauties on this channel and also follow me on all my social media uh, every detail will be linked on the in the description below be blessed bye whatever you do in life you do it with all your heart